spine surgery has gotten increasingly more complex. In the past, what spine surgeons would do is they would just fuse the spine from the posterior aspect. So you'd make an incision on the person's back and then put in whatever you needed to fix the spine. But over the past several years, a lot of the literature has shown that fusing the spine from both the front and the back adds a lot of strength. So 10 years ago, we weren't doing as many anterior spine exposures, but now vascular surgery is very much involved in doing anterior spine exposures so that the spine surgeon can fuse the anterior part of the spine and then turn the patient over in the same procedure and fuse the back part of the spine. So you can imagine if you had a pole and you didn't want it to bend, and all you did was put one side of it and have some support beams. Well, that's gonna be good, but it's not gonna be as good as having two different sides being heavily supported. And so by coming from the anterior portion, which is what vascular surgeons do for the spine surgeons, by doing that, you get much more strength to, to hold the spine in place. So what we do is we make a paramedian incision, an incision basically just to the left of the belly button and down towards the pubis. And we dissect towards the six pack, the rectus muscle. And we open that sheath and then move the muscle to the, to the left and take all the peritoneal contents and push them far over to the right. And then all of a sudden you can see the spine. But we have to ligate a vein that comes off the iliac vein, and it's called the iliolumbar vein. And that's where the danger comes in and why vascular surgery has very much taken over doing those spine exposures. It's very important that the spine surgeon and the vascular surgeon partner together because the mortality rates were much higher and the morbidity rates when a spine surgeon would just go do this alone or use a general surgeon because where you get into trouble is with the iliac vein and the person who essentially exposes the spine needs to be able to fix or have, the, have somebody in the room who can fix the vein if it gets injured. At Vascular Institute of the Rockies, a couple years ago, we started to realize the importance of using a vascular surgeon with a spine surgeon. And so we started to create a protocol for dealing with the patient who gets an injury to the iliac vein during spine surgery. And currently we have 18 patients that we have fixed the vein in and we presented some of this material at CARVE, which was a, is a national conference, and we're gathering our data to present it uh, internationally.